Hi friends. Welcome to Physio. Quick recap. In this video, I will be talking about the difference between Facial Palsy and Bell's Palsy. Facial Palsy Cause is known. It can be due to infection, trauma, or tumor. Bell's Palsy Cause is unknown. It is idiopathic. Facial Palsy is permanent. It may last from years to lifetime. Bell's Palsy is temporary. It can be cured within 3 months in 90% of the cases. Facial Palsy needs the surgical treatment. Bell's Palsy can be cured without treatment or surgery. In facial palsy either UMN or LMN is affected. In Bell's palsy mostly LMN is affected. Bell's palsy is the most common cause of facial palsy. Facial palsy refers to weakness of the facial muscles resulting from temporary or permanent damage to the facial nerve. Facial palsy is of two types UMN type or central facial palsy. LMN type or peripheral facial palsy. UMN type is supranuclear damage. Tatus. Pyramidal tracts above the facial nerve nucleus are damaged. LMN type is infranuclear. Here facial nerve nucleus or facial nerve itself is damaged. You can see in this picture that any damage above the facial nerve nucleus is UMN type of facial palsy and any damage below the facial nerve nucleus is LMN type of facial palsy. So, further in this video, I will tell difference between UMN and LMN type of facial palsy. Site of affection in UMN and LMN type in UMN Contralateral lower half of the face is affected. Why opposite side is affected? You must have learned in physiology about corticospinal tract pathway. In this 90% of corticospinal fibers cross over or go to opposite side of the body at the level of medulla. So, therefore if the damage is in the left side of the brain, Right side of the face is affected. Why lower half of the face is affected? Why not upper half? This happens because upper half of the face receives motor signals from both the sides of the cortex. So, if one side of the cortex is affected, upper half of the face receives motor signals from the other side of the cortex. So, upper facial muscles are innervated and hence are not affected. In LMN type, Ipsilateral half of the face is affected. Why ipsilateral side is affected? It is because facial nerve doesn't cross to opposite side after emerging from facial nerve nucleus. Why complete half of the face is affected and upper half of the face is not spared? As the damage is below the facial nucleus, upper facial muscles don't receive signal from cortex for it to be spared. This picture clearly depicts why in UMN type, Contralateral lower half of the face is affected. And in LMN type, ipsilateral half of the face is affected. Clinical features of central and peripheral palsy in central palsy. There is preservation of forehead and eyebrow movements. There is loss of nasolabial fold and drooping of lower lip. In peripheral palsy, there is loss of forehead and brow movements. Inability to close eyes and drooping eyelids. Loss of nasolabial fold and drooping of lower lip. In UMN type, Facial muscle will be presented with hypertonia and hyperreflexia. In LMN type, facial muscles will exhibit hypotonia and hyporeflexia. UMN type is associated with hemiplegia on the same side of the paralysis. LMN type is associated with hemiplegia on opposite side of the paralysis. In UMN type, there will be paralysis of only voluntary movements. In LMN type, there will be paralysis of voluntary emotional and associated movements. So these all are the differences between UMN type and LMN type of facial palsy. Thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.